And three, two, one, boom. And we're back to another Resource Cry Gamers. This episode is yeah. sponsored by Zen Real Clothing Co. Pick up your tees at zenrealclothingco.com and use code SGPODCAST for 20% off select items. Okay, so before we begin this movie review, I'd just like to state that Vish went to his very first hot yoga class ever. Well, well yoga class yoga ever. Class ever, ever. Yeah. Um, what'd you think? Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. Do you find it difficult? Uh, no, not in the sense of difficulty because the basic thing was you could do what you can do, right? Right, okay, but yeah. It's just like movements and like kind of like stretches. So Yeah, it's, it's like pretty it's pretty straightforward, right? Like there's nothing like crazy. Yeah, no, nothing, nothing, you know? nothing like that. Yeah, no. And I wholly advocate doing a hot yoga class versus like a non-heated room because mm-hmm. like um Yeah, I felt it was just more easier to to stretch, stretch and do it. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I like the heat, so that, that's right. pretty cool. Yeah. All right, so, yes, hit up uh, Sunny Yoga or your local hot yoga studio mm. for more. Okay, so movie review. Guy Ritchie is back. His last film was... Aladdin. Aladdin. And wh- remember we didn't like that movie? I think we did a movie yeah, review. We didn't. Yeah, we did. We did, right? Yeah. So we did a movie review for Aladdin. Wasn't the greatest. Yeah. It kind of felt like anybody could have filmed that movie. I remember that's one of the, the primary takeaways for yeah. the Latin. It's just like, it was just so general, mm-hmm. right? But with this one, Guy Ritchie's back. His style is like totally, the, like if you watched um, Snatch, uh, Rock and Rolla, mm-hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's a standard Guy Ritchie film. So if you go into this and you like Guy Ritchie films, you'll appreciate this one. Yeah, right. But if you if you don't really um, like Guy Ritchie films or you think you might, it's kind of like Quentin Tarantino. It's like it's a very specific taste, right? You know, yeah. I feel it's mm-hmm. like an acquired taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you've seen enough, you will see how. So, like, I've forgotten how Guy Ritchie exactly is like. Well, let's just I, preface this with you fell asleep. Yeah, like how many times? Uh, a couple of times, a few times. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, like, the story there for you wasn't fully there. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, it wasn't enough for me to keep my attention. I guess. Yeah. No, but I mean, like, like to give a full, like, take on the story. But mm-hmm. like, we can't really dissect the storyline because, like, I'll bring up stuff and then you'll be like, "Oh, I don't remember that," or you might remember. You know? I don't really <laughs> yeah, know. I don't know. I don't know. Because you don't know what parts you fell what asleep. Parts, at, yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I was just trying to stay up, but like it just didn't work. So you you're saying you, not uh, a fan of yeah. So like again, I think it was the same thing with the other Guy Ritchie movie that uh, you liked very much, and I did not. Uh, King Arthur. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. So so yeah, and and I don't think I've seen any of his movies in theaters other than King Arthur. Okay, most yeah. of them were at home. Either maybe I was doing something and watching it. So it's kind of like just in the background. So it, yeah, 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 and it, but it kind of like I was awake for the whole story, but like in in the movie theater scenario. Plus we've got those recliner seats. recliner seats. It's yeah, like, yeah. It's, uh, I guess I was more prone to gonna be affected by sleep. Yeah, totally. And it was like a late show. So like as a late show, there. true. Yeah, that's true. But yeah. it's so funny though. Like it, like it's the total opposite for me. Like with Guy Ritchie's movies, I have to keep paying attention because like everything it comes into play mm-hmm. but it's like a bombardment of like talking yeah you know so like if you're going into this movie and you're like oh i'm gonna see like a bunch of action scenes no you won't see a bunch of action scenes you, you'll get like some yeah but like it's more like all of his movies are propelled forward by some sort of conversation mm-hmm. you know and uh or a monologue like yeah. they're talking to themselves right. or like but I really like that about his movies. You know, that that's the style of movie. Like, I would have to say, out of all the directors, he's probably my favorite. Mm-hmm. Right. Quentin Tarantino would be number two. Mm-hmm. His, his, his movies are really good as well. But like, like we were saying on the, the drive back, that Quentin Tarantino is more eccentric in his, um, in his characters. Yeah. Like, they're kind of weird. They always have, like, something weird about them. But Guy Ritchie's characters are always cool. Like, there's always something cool about Guy Ritchie's yeah, characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Well, I mean, yeah, that's just the style that, that the world that he's in, right? Right, right, right. So yeah, I think, yeah. like, the characters 
like the, the world, of, world. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, the character worlds for Quentin Tarantino aren't like that style. Like, they, they they're can't not. Be they can't be. Yeah, yeah they can't be. Because then it's like a different. Because they're of like movie. mobsters. Yeah, yeah. yeah, totally, totally, yeah. totally. But see, so so like yeah, like I've been talking about Quentin Tarantino. Like it, it reminded me of um, Hateful Eight. I like that movie oh, I all the movie. way through. Yeah, I hated that. I movie. like that movie all the way through. Yeah, it's bored. Oh, it's so bored. I wasn't because I don't know. I don't know. It's just there is a lot of talking in that one, but it's like it. I don't know. It it had something that grabbed my but, attention to it. But the it all right. So there is a lot of talking, yes, but they're not cool. So like, well, what I mean what by mean? cool is yeah. like, like there's there's no suaveness to each character. Like all of Guy Ritchie's characters are all suave. You know, there's some like element of like danger to them, mm -hmm. you know, or like um, cleverness. Like they're all like, they're all like, because they're mobsters, right? So they're like clever, mm -hmm. you know. But like with Hateful Eight, I kind of felt like it was just a story of people. Yeah, uh, like I guess way, I I like you know? that. Yeah, right. I prefer totally more right. of that. Because like you liked Crash. Yeah. Remember like um, Crash Babylon. Mm -hmm. Babylon. All those. I think it's uh, called Babylon. Was it? The, Which one was that one? The Brad Pitt one where like you like those movies where they all Oh intersect. Ad Astra? You're talking no, about no, no, no. Which one? Babylon. From who? Uh I don't remember who the character is, but it it's like there's a bunch of different people and they're all of their stories are independent. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. Together. I got I got you. Yeah. Yeah yeah. yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So like that's your style of movie. You like those movies where like yeah. like they're all I guess maybe it's like a character thing like it's like a personality thing because like mm -hmm. you like you like those ones where like all of their stories are independent and they come together in a tied manner yeah i like those too but like i like it better when they're like mobsters mm -hmm. you know like layer cake um what's another one? Oh, right. the big short mm -hmm. you know like oh, all i those like big like short yeah totally yeah, yeah but like i'm saying those are more lumped in towards like the the chess the chess movie styles yeah you know no i really, really like big short i mean i think it depends i don't know it just it wasn't working for me uh, i don't know i'd have to look it's, back at the other ones but, like did it, i really yeah like, how that, much did i really it, like them or that's not? that's why it's funny yeah. when you're like it wasn't working for me but i'm like but it was like all of his movies mm -hmm. like you could you mm -hmm. could like interchange this with another movie mm -hmm. and be like oh, it could be it movie. could be for different reasons it could be the recliner seats it could be the it's just like uh late movie i don't know like these are maybe could have an impact i have to look back in a movie at this movie again when it's when uh, it's out released yeah, yeah so that i can actually get the full story because i didn't i didn't get the ending like i woke up at the ending like what what, what happened <laughs> <laughs> that's funny like there were uh, characters in between that i did like um but, but again they're as just as characters that they are right now i didn't couldn't really focus or think about the story as much since i did miss some things right and and uh, that's that's yeah. the thing it's like yeah. um like we, we were saying before that like um that like guy Ritchie movies are like chess games mm -hmm. you know because like you're moving something but when you're moving it it has a strategic role later on you yeah. know like yeah like the paperweight was a gun but mm -hmm. then she used that gun later on but like they present it all innocuously like like they they were um they broke in to like get this girl back who was a druggie yeah. and then he was saying like oh i know all of your names i know everything about you mm -hmm. and then he's like except for you i don't know who you yeah. are and then that guy got killed and mm -hmm. then they found out later like oh his father's like kgb or something like mm -hmm. that so it's like i i did feel like that though like the things the times are that i were i was awake mm -hmm. or, and stuff like i did when they were when they went into that room and he didn't know like i felt like these are things that will come back Oh, interesting. Okay, yeah. okay. So like, like finding no, that yeah, body in the freezer. But, like, but it's like it's like why, like. No, like but I, I didn't feel like it back. was. I didn't feel like. Uh, I think it was like, uh, like I think pretty obvious to know that this will come back. It, but but all right, putting it back to chess, it's yeah. sort of like you watch me move my rook, right? Mm -hmm. And you you see me move my rook, yeah. but you're like, why are you moving that rook? Mm -hmm. You know, like you, yeah. you, the, he puts an emphasis on those scenes. Yeah, but it's like, but why is that important? Right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. why did you not know that person's name? Mm -hmm. Why did he get killed? Right. You know, you can ask a lot of whys in this movie, and then he'll like tie it back together. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it, it's all connected. I did like that aspect. It's just, uh, I don't know. It just overall did not work. like like or a, a good example remember when they came in for the meeting in the beginning i don't know if you remember this but like yeah. um dry eye and the guy behind him with the scar over yeah. his eye yeah remember and then they're like oh fook 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's the one who did it, and they're like, okay, who's this guy? And they look at it; it's the guy with the scar on his yeah. eye. And you're like, oh shoot, he came back to play like a more important role, mm-hmm. you know? But that was a way to know because we would not have remembered who he looked like. <laughs> the the scar on his eye. Yeah, yeah totally, totally, totally. <laughs> and then like when he he died, like they didn't give you like an obvious answer. He like committed suicide. But right. He like, jumped off the track. And then you're like, oh, now how are we going to figure out how mm. it's all connected, mm-hmm. you know? Right. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, I didn't really get the ending. Oh, we didn't even score it in the there. beginning. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we're we're score, it. Yeah. score it first. Well, from whatever I could tell, I don't know. This... Uh, <coughs> 6.5. Oh, wow. I think you're going to say like 5. Yeah, um, I was thinking. I don't know. I'm going to give it, it, it There were parts I liked, so. I'm when getting... I was awake. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, sir. I'm going to give it like an 8. Oh, yeah yeah expected <laughs> it's poof like okay in the order of do you remember snatch i really. no i don't remember i i don't remember much of his movies i can't remember just the way that yes yeah, so maybe you just didn't really like them maybe like, oh. no i like them in in that aspect maybe just it wasn't like those are not like my top but like things totally, like maybe totally i like them maybe but you know it's sort of like it's sort of like okay so like if you're like if but it was I, a long I, time ago that i watched it so to remember it right right, right. Yeah. i watch these movies like on the regular that's like, what i'm I, saying I, yeah, I, I think you, I, like, I really like i know them, you yeah like you know? I, will, I will remember christopher nolan movies I yeah totally yeah. So, like i remember so, like it's interesting how like these like each of these uh directors mm-hmm. the way i see it is like if you don't like a director it's like okay you just don't like that flavor yeah you know what i mean because yeah. like like if, if you're like you watch like a regular movie you're like oh did you like the movie yeah i liked it or i didn't like it right yeah. like general general right? blockbuster types. blockbuster type you're like yeah. did you like the marvel movie yeah but who was the director mm-hmm. i don't know mm-hmm. right but with these it's like these specific directors who write and direct they have like a specific flavor so it's like if you didn't like that quentin tarantino movie you're probably not gonna like all the other quentin tarantino movies mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying it's like it's like you know what to expect out of these yeah so when you're saying like I didn't like it, it's not really like for me. It's not like you didn't like the movie. It's like you just don't like that style. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, it like just, so it, it just didn't work for me. Right. I think, in, in, and in, that's yeah. why you're giving it like a six point five because like you don't really like it. But for me, I'm yeah. like I give it an eight because I'm yeah. like I like that style. Yeah, but yeah. there are movies that you could tell like we would both agree on that are really bad. Uh, oh, what do you mean? No, like in oh, general other ones. Sense. Yeah, 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 other yeah. ones. Yeah. But, but those those but these are, are like yeah non- these are unknown directors. Like the director itself is a character in that in, in the way it's done. It totally so you, yeah, you, yeah, yeah right yeah, yeah. so like you expect you know what you're gonna get from that person right. except for the aladdin one that was a big shocker for well me. I was yeah like, yeah what true. is this right i mean i think they used the name uh people expected one thing like i see i don't think he had control yeah totally. of a lot of things because this is a disney project because they, watch... they don't want to give away the right yeah totally, totally, just totally. Like that, yeah. they don't want to make it gritty or anything like that yeah but do you remember um uh king arthur uh, mm-hmm. Like the King Arthur was like a boy on the streets, mm-hmm. so I was like, okay, I thought that's what Aladdin was going to be because right. Aladdin's literally a boy on the streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then there was no like gangsterness in it, and you're like, so then why did you even get Guy Ritchie? Like mm-hmm. Guy Ritchie is known for gangster movies, right? You know, yeah. And like Quentin Tarantino is known for outlandish movies. Uh, Christopher Nolan is known for like epic mind blow movies. Mm-hmm. You know. But yeah. like, but like we were saying yesterday, uh, other people like that everybody knows, like James Cameron, Steven Spielberg, they're just like blockbuster directors. Like, I wouldn't say that like I can pick out those director styles. Yeah, you know, they're part of like the old school. Yeah, yeah. Back when, back when, like they were, they weren't like art pieces. You were just looking for a director that was yeah. known. Right. Like, you're like, okay, you're gonna get quality every time. It's not to say that their movies are like bad you, yeah no yeah. when you when you put like steven spielberg or like uh james cameron you know you're gonna get quality that's mm-hmm. the thing but it's like you can't you can't differentiate it like if i put that movie in front of you like who directed that you'd never know but if i put like a guy richie right. movie in front of you because his scenes are all the same like he has the exact yeah. same style yeah. quentin yeah. tarantino same thing mm-hmm. yeah 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 uh, yeah that's true yeah I mean, there are some new ones that I've been liking, but they're more new directors. One new director, okay, uh, Taika. I don't know who that Taika is. Taika Waititi. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But so, see, I can't really, I can't tell what movies he made though. Uh, but you haven't seen a lot of his stuff. 
he's okay, he's like sure. a recent guy coming up from New Zealand. So I saw a New Zealand movie. It's again, this is like a comedy style. Okay, so, so he has he has a style. He has no because because he, he filmed has a style, uh, he yeah. filmed the Marvel right? Didn't he? Film he the filmed Thor Ragnarok. Yeah. Yeah. So I so, was like. I can't really tell. Like, so that really uh, that is not it, it's it, comedy is his thing, and he did do it his way. Like he did have his thing, but I like Thor Ragnarok though. Yeah, that was like a good movie. Yeah, yeah. So, but there are other things he does do of his own and his, of his own writing, like Jojo Rabbit. I still have to see that. Okay. Like he has a comedy style. Uh, okay. To it, and he acts in his movies, but I don't think he did in. Uh, oh no, he did. He did. Uh, he does. Yeah, he did act in Thor Ragnarok too. Yeah, he was the he was the the, the, the rock, rock guy. guy. Yeah, yeah. So I uh, he's like someone new that's kind of coming up. So. Right. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, like coming back to this movie, I don't know. It just didn't. Again, yeah. I, like I guess I've forgotten. How, like I've never watched his in theaters other than King Arthur, and I right. did not like that either. So it's like it's it's interesting. <laughs> it's funny that it still it makes sense. Like it would continue the same way. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Um, it's interesting, like if you actually look at the cast of the movie, yeah, that that was kind of fascinating. And that, like, I was kind of worried mm-hmm, about this movie mm-hmm, because mm-hmm. I was like, why are there so many stars? Right. You know, and especially like the guy from Crazy Rich Asians being in this, I was like, oh, are you going to like, are you just like latching on the popularity of mm-hmm, that thing? And mm-hmm. I was like, kind of worried that it wasn't going to be a good movie. Um, but I thought it was amazing. But what did you think of the casting? I thought they were pretty good. Uh, I I some really of the ones that really liked the crazy rich Asians guy. I was like, dude, you are a good actor, yo. Mm-hmm. You're a really good actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw his other movie. There's another movie with Anna Kendrick. He did, and I was like, ah. Eh. Uh, I, like I haven't seen. It's like a love story, kind right? Of thing. I was like, ah. Eh. Uh, yeah, I, I liked Colin Farrell <laughs> for the little that I saw him. But yeah, Colin Farrell's. I awesome. always liked that guy. I don't know. He's just a funny guy. Yeah, he's he's great. Yeah, uh, I love his movies. Yeah. He uh, kind of like had a hiatus, eh? He used to do like so many action movies, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does, you know. Sometimes things I, happen, but like he hires, a, like again, it, it's all done in London, so he's only hiring like people. These are all London or UK. Oh, really? Eh? United Kingdom. Oh, what about um, he, the main guy? Yeah, I don't know. Well, I don't he's think so. Like, I think he's the only one that's American. I guess. Oh, okay, okay. Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, that's the name. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, what did you think of Charlie Hunnam? His name Charlie. Hunnam? Yeah. What did uh, you think? I of always his... liked him. Uh... I I feel like his accent in this movie was weird. It was hard for me to play. I, 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 I like, don't think that's his real accent. And that's what I'm saying. I'm like, yeah. what are you trying to be right now? It's like very <laughs> odd. Because like, he's, are, he's are played you... the American accent for so long. Either he should have like, I don't know. If he Is won. that his real voice? I don't know. I don't know. Actually, yeah. yeah. I'm so confused. I was like, where are you from? It still had... No, actually, it's not only his real voice. Because it, it didn't really have that big of an accent. Yeah, it was like a... It yeah. was like a... It was like an American trying to do... It was like a British person trying to do a British accent. Yeah. You know? It was like, but you're British. You know? It was like, <laughs> it was like, it was like you're trying too right. hard yeah, to yeah, be yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, it was very. I odd. thought that. Oh, yeah, most of it was pretty good. Uh, I liked Hugh Grant's character a lot too. Mm, mm-hmm. He was like really, really good. Yeah, he was in it from the beginning. Oh, Kendall. So. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's amazing. Yeah, yeah I didn't. He was I didn't. amazing in that because <laughs> like if you watch him in Succession, you're like, okay, um, like you're you're like okay, he's like this very like buttoned up. He didn't really emote in Succession. So I was like, yeah. okay, so what kind of acting style are you? And mm-hmm. then watching his character in this, he's very like flamboyant. Flamboyant, yeah. And you're like, oh, dude, you're a good actor. <laughs> yeah, that was good. I, I did like his, uh, like oh, seeing him in it. Yeah. What do you, what do you call that? Where it's like, um... and how he was involved on, like you know, like that's the part that I saw where. Like we thought he was only working with Matthew McConaughey then. No, no, no. It's like he always does that. There's all like that's how I knew right. No, like, no, no. Yeah, I was like, yeah. all right, this guy's gonna be evil. He right. and every movie that's like yeah. the person you think is on your side is not on your side. Yeah, right. right. Like in, in all of his other ones too, it's like there's always like they're always gonna screw you over. Mm-hmm. So I was just waiting to see like, okay, how are you gonna? And plus, like they kind of made it obvious when he's the only one who visited the 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 secret hideout and mm-hmm. then those people went to the secret hideout it's like the only person that knows that right. information is that guy mm-hmm. but they were like they trusted that that person was like trying to um, yeah. 
like uh, buy the business. Right. So it's like, well, why would he want to screw us over? Mm-hmm. But see, the, all right, so that's one of the things I like about Guy Ritchie movies is like, it's very much like mobster mentality is very much business mentality. Mm-hmm. So as I watch this, I'm like, okay, I can learn something that I can apply in my like professional career. Right. You know, even though people are like, oh, like, but you know, how? So like when he, when he first valued the company at 400 million, and mm-hmm. then he's like, well, I'm not, I can't pay 400 million. In his head, he's like, I can't pay 400 million. I don't want to pay 400 mm-hmm. million. Mm-hmm. So then he orchestrates this thing, this like attempted robbery. And then in that, he's like, well, it's devalued now because they know your location. And then like, you know, what I mean? right, like, yeah, yeah. you can right. devalue something. And mm-hmm. then you're like, well, I'm going to pay, pay you a more fair assessment, mm-hmm. you know. But they do that in business all the time, yeah. right? Yeah. It's like you were saying today with the Tesla. Yeah. So ex- explain that one. So, yeah, like their recent something about 100,000 cars getting into accidents, accidentally speeding up. But the guy that reported that was a person who was a short seller because they're losing because they're seeing the success of so, so a short seller is like somebody who bets against a company. So they'll make yeah. money if the company loses Fails. money. Yeah. If the company... I'm not too sure how that works, but like, yeah. Yeah, that's what, like, I mean, that was a big short too, right? They bet against the economy. But I don't really know. Like, I didn't do very well in finance. Oh. So, <laughs> so I didn't go into finance. So I can't really explain that to you. Like, yeah, I know that's a there thing. Are, I just don't know how it works. Yeah, there are people that do that. I was watching some other thing, someone that does like a lot of research, uh, like a doc that before they do the short selling, they mm. look at all the company's things, uh, uh, earnings and like what... Yeah, exactly. Everything that they're okay, doing, yeah, yeah. and then they're like they're able to like decide, okay, this company is going to fail, so we will bet against them. Right, and yeah. like in this movie, he's like he valued the the business. Yeah. Right. So it's like there's the there's the business mm-hmm. lesson right there. Mm-hmm. But um, so but you were saying that the other trick is that not only is he a short seller, he doesn't actually own a Tesla. <laughs> yeah. No. So see, there's the mob. There's the guy richiness in it. Yeah. You know, like the person that. Mm-hmm. who's trying to earn his money back is trying to like set these traps right. to make the public you know devalue it more mm-hmm. yeah see like you can learn business lessons in it yeah no yeah yeah actually uh, it's funny um mm-hmm. like as a side note like because of like the mobster and like the business um 50 cent was also 50 cent and jay-z were also big business influences mm-hmm. um because like when I listen to their songs or like listen to them explain things about like the hustle of like selling, you know, like cocaine, yeah. it's like it's the same same thing. Who are your competitors? Mm-hmm. How do you control supply and demand? What are your logistics for like getting it to your customer? Well, to yourself and then your customer. Right. Like how much do you have to pay for the initial supply and then you have to mark it up to make a profit? Mm-hmm. You know, even these are all business lessons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. And uh, what was that other movie? Entourage. Here's another good example. Mm. How to negotiate deals. Ari Gold. Yeah. Yeah. But so anyways. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it just didn't work for me, but I think if you'd like his types of movies, you will. You see like the the benefit. Like the, you see how people could like it. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, no. It's, it's not yeah. like it's not like those movies where it's like it's not like wow, a bad. Like it's, not, it's not a bad okay, movie. It's not yeah, a yeah. bad movie. That, that, that's the thing. That, right? yeah. It's not yeah. a bad movie. It's just not was not the movie for me. That's right, all. totally. But we're, whereas like we'll watch a movie and we're like, wow, that was a bad movie. Yeah. You know, like why did they film this movie? Right. But like, if you like, that's why it's like flavors. It's yeah. like, do you like the taste of sweet or sour? Yeah. You know. Like Quentin Tarantino isn't bad, but no, he's not bad. His no. you might not like his art style. Totally. Yeah. 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 Like uh, Hateful Eight. I can see why people like it. Mm-hmm. I just found that movie boring. Yeah, yeah, you know? which or, totally makes sense. Yeah. Or, or like um, Django. A lot of people couldn't watch that movie because there's like so much like gore and like mm-hmm. slavery and like right. the use of the N word. Yeah. Right. So like people didn't like it, but mm-hmm. it's like no, it's not a bad movie though. It's right. just like not your flavor. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I love that movie. <laughs> Django. Yeah, I love that too. I, it, actually, I love it, but it's like too much. So I can't handle it. It's so like dark. There's just yeah. so much like, you, you know what I find with Quentin Tarantino movies? I know we're talking about Guy Ritchie, but like, <laughs> yeah. um, Quentin Tarantino movies feel very epic. Like every character's got a long backstory. Yeah. That, but I was watching his direction, his director like interviews, and like he gives each character a really thorough backstory. Yeah. Like they could have their own individual movie, mm-hmm. but he never shows it to you. He just shows that to the actor. So right. the actor knows what they're going to act like mm-hmm. in this movie. Yeah. yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. 
I feel like Guy Ritchie might do the same thing. But uh, to Guy Ritchie's credit, he hangs out with a lot of mobsters in order to find out like how to write these stories, yeah. which I thought was so cool. Like that's that's awesome. Like you you actually put yourself like yeah, you do some real and, actual like, research. Research, yeah. you know, like yeah. so he like everything you watch in a Guy Ritchie movie, it's like something he learned mm -hmm. from a mobster that he's putting into a film. Right. So like if a mobster watches the mobster, be like yeah yeah that, yeah we do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like a commitment to your craft. You know that Guy Ritchie used to like he started off by making music videos. Uh yeah, I was looking that up yesterday. Yeah, to see other movies that he had done. Yeah, yeah, he that's how he started. <laughs> so like, it makes sense that music video scene. Were you awake for that? Uh yeah, I, I was like, oh man, yes. I gotta download some British rap, bro. Yeah yeah, it sounds <laughs> so sick, bro. <you> know? <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I was like up they for that one, yeah. they sound so hard in their um their raps. I was like, yeah, I was like watching. I'm like, why are they putting up? Video cameras. Like, yeah, yeah, it's for all what reason. And, and, and it's then like, they oh. made like a music. What, what do they call that? Like a fight. I forgot what they called I it. I don't know. Yeah, they said it was like something. It's like a, it's like a big thing where they film fights and then they turn them into music videos. Right. Yeah, that was, that was cool. I really like that. Hmm. Yeah. So, um, guess anything else? Oh, if you're, uh, I don't know who directed this movie, but. The, there's a movie called Layer Cake. So like gangster movies have been around for like a long time, and like yeah. like uh, Martin Scorsese did The Departed, mm -hmm. right? And uh, I don't know who did Layer Cake, but that's another gangster movie, right? But like, but see the difference is like Guy Ritchie specializes in them. Mm -hmm. So like Martin mm -hmm. Scorsese, he did do The Departed, and I love The Departed, but at the same time, like you can't watch another martin scorsese movie and be like oh yeah another gangster movie like right it's like guy Ritchie is the king of gangster movies mm -hmm. even though other people do it you know right yeah like our sopranos like the tv show like i don't know who filmed that one but uh, yeah. oh, i think there's different directors per episode right uh super uh yeah i guess what what the difference is is like these like unique flavor style mm -hmm. um directors they write and direct so that's what really sets them apart because they put their themselves into like the movie, right? So are they even really directors? Or are they just writers? You know what I'm saying? Mm. It's like what what are you really? Well, it's more about like who you're hiring, right? As your direct the direction that you want to take the movie in a sense, like right, right, right. Like who works best? What kind of cinematographer do you want? They, that's actually fascinating because like we always hear about like the directors, but the director doesn't actually do like the filming. Yeah. Like physically filming. No. Like the director is like the conductor of the orchestra. Right. You know? Yeah. I guess maybe that's why we place a lot of emphasis on the directors. Mm -hmm. I don't really know. Yeah. Because like the... I like I I like the directors of photography better. He's than... the conductor to the music. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, so... totally. I, I wish other Oh, who's another Jay and Silent Bob. That that guy Silent Bob. Mm-hmm. He he writes his own and films them right he's another one so like you remember dogma uh-huh yeah so, uh well I, I know the name i don't remember so like dogma jay and silent bob like they all have a specific style too he's another good one mm -hmm. yeah there's far and few between that has this kind of like director and yeah. Right? yeah yeah totally, totally i was gonna say like i they should do more of that but then at the same time it's like but some directors just aren't good storytellers they're just good directors yeah like you get like very specialized you get like a real artist mm -hmm. when they write and direct i think yeah because yeah. it's like each movie's an art piece yeah but yeah. almost like all those are niches of their own totally so yeah, yeah. it's very difficult to uh like really make a lot of money with these sorts of movies so yeah that right. is the thing that is the thing yeah yeah you you're not going to get like a blockbuster huge hit mm-hmm but you will if you're the director of like a blockbuster movie, but it's like you don't really have control over it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's... Case in point, the Aladdin movie, <laughs> right? Like, he was the director, but like you can totally tell like you were, you were completely like bound. Yeah, all that stuff was, yeah. Even, it's funny though, even in watching the promotional stuff, like the interviews for Aladdin, like you can tell that Guy Ritchie was kind of like, I just have to be here. Was that last year? Yeah, last year. Uh, that's yeah. good. Within he, a year, he, he brought wasn't up another like, one. That's good. 
Yeah, true, true. You know what's funny? When I first saw this, the commercial for this, yeah. I didn't watch it fully because, like, when I when I, he put it on, didn't his you say Instagram, it was, thought it was an ad? It was. Something? I thought it was an ad. Yeah, 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 yeah. because the oh, he he started technically his, is, but because he started his yeah. his beer company, right, 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 right. So when I saw his Instagram, and then they were like, it was Charlie Hunnam and uh, um, what's his name? Hugh Hugh Matthew. No, no, the other guy. Um, Hugh, I don't remember Hugh Grant. Yeah, yeah. Hugh so Grant? when I saw them two in that scene, and then he poured the beer or whatever, I was like, "Oh, this is an ad for your alcohol." Mm. So I disregarded it, and uh, then like months later, you were like, "Have you seen his mo- his trailer yet?" And I was like, yeah, "Isn't that bad?" <laughs> oh yeah. And then yeah. I finally watched the trailer, and I was like, "Oh, this looks pretty good." Yeah. Actually, I thought it looked a little corny at first because I was like. I think maybe I was just salty after that Aladdin thing. So I was kind of like, oh, I don't really know if I trust you again. Right. But then watching this, right, I was like, right, yeah, I trust right, you. Right. Yeah. Anyway, so. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, I don't want to take anything away. Like, you can try different things, but it just sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah, so totally. again, it's like flavors. Yeah. Like, so if you're into this movie, if you're into this style of movie, if you've watched other Guy Ritchie movies, go mm-hmm. check this one out. It's a standard Guy, Guy Ritchie film. But if you're like, you haven't really seen those movies or you don't really like that style, like go in with caution. Cause it's definitely not like a block. So like, it's like a very niche movie. It's a very niche style. Yeah. 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 So, um, final score. I'll stick to the same six and a half. Yeah. I'll give it a nine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll boost it up. A little I mean, bit. if you, if you, we should go check out his other ones and if you like them, you should go see this. Like yeah, his, totally, totally, yeah. Totally. I agree. Yeah. In terms of um, his other hits, like... Just not Snatch. bad. Just not for me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In terms of, like, how would I order them? Mm-hmm. Uh, I would say I like... The Rock and Rolla was... Like, Snatch I really like because of... That's the Brad iconic. Pitt's character. Yeah, yeah, it's iconic. That's Brad Pitt's iconic. character is, like, a legend. Yeah. So it's like, I kind of had to like that movie by default. Damn, actually, no, I'm still going to keep Snatch there. It was so good. It was so good. <laughs> <laughs> Snatch, and then uh, yeah, you're gonna have King to. Arthur. Oh, I really like King Arthur. Snatch, King Arthur, and then this one is tied with Rock and Rolla. I don't know which is Lock, Stock, and Barrel his too. Yeah, I didn't watch that though. Oh, I watched like a, like 20 minutes of it. No, not 20. Sorry, I watched like 10 minutes of it, mm. and I was like, wow, this is so old school. Like the oh. angles he was using, I was like, oh, you're still new. Because the first Guy Ritchie movie I ever watched was Snatch. And then I tried to watch Lockstock. That was like, before Snatch? That was like way before, like five oh, years or okay. something like that. Okay. So like he was still like, that was his breakout hit though. When he made Lockstock, right. like everyone's like, oh, he's an amazing director, mm-hmm, writer. Mm-hmm. But like I had seen Snatch already. So like he mm-hmm. was already good. Yeah. You know? And then like, it's almost like listening to like, <laughs> like Drake's really good right now, but it's like going back to like his like early mixtape. Right. So it's like, he's still good. It's still like Drake, but it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, not year, it's not perfect yet. because he's more progressed. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like when you watch like Snatch, that's when it starts getting really good. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the characters in Snatch were just too damn good. Like Brad Pitt's character is amazing. The Pikey right. and like all that. Mm. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't like. Well, no, it makes sense. But I was going to yeah. say I'm surprised you didn't like King Arthur. Yeah, I don't think I did. You know that movie was in hold for like two years or something like that. King Arthur? Yeah, they filmed it, but they couldn't get a release date. He was talking about on Joe Rogan. Um, like the release date issues are so like bad. Yeah, because you have to, like you'll have a movie ready, but you'll you're sitting on it because yeah. like you have to wait. Yeah, it can't conflict with like the Marvel movie that's coming out because then your profits will go down. Yeah, you know because then you're splitting that. Blah blah. blah you know mm-hmm. that's why I'm surprised that the gentleman came out so quickly. I was like. But I guess like it, it, we're still Jan- in the early like there's a lot of things not not a lot of things that come out in January. Right, right. And I think January is when the other King Arthur came out too, right? Uh, maybe like, I don't know. Or like it was know, early in the year. It wasn't like prime time. It wasn't. Summer. Yeah, no, no, yeah. It was not exactly prime time. Yeah. Yeah. At least I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. All right. So final score nine six point five. Not really good at math. So we're gonna say it's like a seven seven point five. Is that what that would be? I don't know. Oh, Probably point something, something, something. Yeah. So check it out if you like it. But if you don't like his style, mm, ass. Yeah. yeah. All right. Any other movies coming out next week? Or will it just be like a regular? SG I don't know. I, I I haven't been keeping up. Yeah, me either. Like with... when you said like, I was like, oh, I want to check out a movie. And you're like, oh, yeah. that. I didn't even know Gentleman, Gentleman was, was coming like, out. I was like, oh, it's out. 
Go check it out. It's coming out, yeah. yeah. But I was I was pretty stoked for a gentleman though. I just didn't it crept up on me. I yeah. didn't expect it to come out so soon. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. All right. Until next time. Take it easy. Peace.